So when you have a lot of systems, there's a lot of figuring things out and balancing things. And a lot of changes in plans. Well, those are difficult. Um, ideally, systems would all be mature and set up so that you know as something is changing throughout the year or as a being, such as a puppy, changes, that you have systems in place to take care of those needs, those extra needs. Uh, <clears throat> and so we're going to change the plan. We're going to put the puppies in the, with the chickens, but we want to deparasite the chickens first, and then we are going to deparasite everybody else, including me. I probably don't have parasites. I have no symptoms. But uh, you just never know. And uh, it's complex. <clears throat> so the timing matters. So now we're going to put the dogs. The plan is to try putting them outside the door for a night, see how much they whine, and see if we can take care of them for a few days. Buy some deparasite stuff for the chickens. Give it to them in their water. Uh, not letting the dogs drink the water that the deep parasite will be in because they're going to put in the chickens water, right? And that's cool because I've never deparasited this particular group of chickens and it is time to deparasite them. Uh, there's probably also some older chickens that I should uh, kill and eat. You know, they're old. They don't give eggs probably or very much. And then the changes are happening with the cows on the other side of the barranca. That's also going to create a space that later on I could have burrows because there's the burrow project, right, where I want to put burrows somewhere. But my thinking was to put them in a spot and then I need to make a fence around it and I need to build them a shelter. Well, I still need to build them a shelter somewhere. But now I've got this big area where the burrows could walk around free uh, in a big area because I don't like the idea of, of animals being stuck in a small place. It seems boring for them. And I can't just let them run free over here on this side of the bronca because I've got lots of trees and plants out there that are very tasty and they'll just eat those up. So <clears throat> it's really interesting to watch. Uh, it will be interesting to watch as, as people manicure, change, alter this place, leaving it primarily natural, but making spots that are maybe a little bit more pretty right out here in front of the lodge. Many people have come to me and said, why don't you make things be pretty? Uh, well, mainly because it's a bunch of work, and uh, that work doesn't pay off right now, and I'm also happy about the plants that are growing here, fixing the soil. I'm happy with the process that's happening here, and I certainly don't want ruminants, such as burrows or goats, to just walk around everywhere. And so this is an opportunity, that whole other part of the Barranca, to, to make a new space. I've wanted to civilize that in any way, in some ways. I need to collect water. I need to have a, a shelter for burrows. I need to have maybe a place for hay bales for them because part of the year they're just going to want to eat that, I guess. And uh, it's also not as close to the house as I wanted because I want more interaction between the burrows and people. But I also want to make places for people over there. And so I've got a huge bunch of stuff to do <clears throat> uh, with whatever system. And so part of the puzzle here is which things happen when. The order of things is very important. And right now, I get to make all those decisions in a fairly free way. I have a lot of uh, ability to, to change plans, to develop plans. Uh, but I need to make plans for the whole space for longer term. So there's just puzzle after puzzle after puzzle after puzzle. <laughs> and the good thing about that is I won't get bored. <clears throat> and occasionally I'll have successes. And I hope to share my experiences to inspire others and to educate others. Uh, maybe the most important thing I can offer people is what not to do. Unfortunately, I will discover those things by doing them a way that isn't best. But then I can help somebody else maybe make a better plan or better decisions in their own space uh, as they take all the factors they're playing with. Because, of course, each person is dealing with many different factors, many different elements. And they've got to balance those and then go with the flow and see what happens. So... We shall see.